Hi, my name is Abigail Olek and I'm the founder of Bow Bronze and Spray Tanner to the Stars and now I'm going to share with you my top tanning tips. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do a complete bow bronze spray tan from beginning to end. So the first thing, if you could just put your hands in front for me, palms up. And what I'd like you to do is just take some of this barrier cream onto your hands and follow what I'm going to do. I want you to rub together really lightly, then put your hands together and just lightly coat the inside of your fingers. And then I need you to go down and put a big coat that's it, all over the base of your feet. Now what that's going to do is protect the hands and protect the feet. Then I just need you to just go over your fingernails for me and over your toenails too. Whilst our model's doing that, I'm going to pick up my buffing mitt and my exfolies. So this is my organic aloe vera and fruit acids. So if any excess barrier cream has gone onto the hands, I'm going to be able to remove it. If you could turn around and face the back for me, please. Always test the air gun on your arm first of all to check how much flow is coming out of your airbrush. What we're looking for is a light mist. So now I'm going to start buffing away. As I'm spraying, I'm spraying first and then I'm buffing. And what I'm doing is hydrating the skin and making sure that any dead skin cells are removed. Face me please. So we're removing any of those dead skin cells, we're removing any deodorant, we're removing any perfume and any body oils. Now this is especially important at the front of the legs because as us ladies always tend to get dry skin, especially at the front of the legs here, and I always find it needs a little bit of extra exfoliating. There you go, how does that feel? Lovely. Nice and clean and refreshing. So if you turn around for me and face the back, I'm going to show you now how to apply the product. Now you always want to be 7 to 10 inches away from the body. You want your model's arms to be a couple of inches away from her body so that you're not going to get a build up of tan. And you're going to be spray spraying three times up and down the body. So that's one, that's two, and now we're going to go for a third time. Now you're noticing that whilst I'm spraying, I'm keeping the bottle upright and I'm also 7 to 10 inches away from the body. So when we're going to spray the legs, we're going to go slightly to the right, up the centre, slightly to the left, and we're going to blend across. And we're going to do that three times. So this is the second time, and I'm blending across. And now this is the third time, and I'm blending across. Now the whole time that I'm spraying, I'm making sure that I come right across the bikini line and I'm making sure that I cut off at the ankle, almost making a, a, a legging effect. So we're going slightly to the right, up the centre, slightly to the left. We're blending across, slightly to the right, up the centre, slightly to the left, and we're blending across. We're going to do that one more time. And then that is my third coat on the leg. If you can face this way for me. I'm now going to ask my model to pop out her arm for me and facing the corner. The reason being is we don't want to have any lines in the neck because if the client's turning around and talking to us, they're going to get lines on their neck. I'm now going to hold the air gun up high and I'm going to let the product mist onto the arm in a one, two, three. It's, I'm actually not spraying the hands, so I'm literally concentrating on that area to that area. We're now going to turn the arm over, use the mitted hand as a barrier and do one, two, three on the inside of the arm. I'm going to bend the arm up and just do a little spray over the elbow and then we're going to come down the side of the body in a one, two, three. We're going to blend across in a one, two, three. We're going to blend across. We're going to do that one more time. Then I'm going to go down the legs. So now we're going down the legs in a one, two, three and blend across. You'll notice I'm using a lot of shoulder action. I'm not wiggling my hand around a lot. All of my effort's coming from my shoulder. Two, three, blend across. One, two, three, and blend across. And what we're doing as well is we're making sure that we've got that imaginary line here. We're cutting off, we're not spraying the foot. If you could face that way for me. And so my model's arm's gonna go out. She's gonna look into the corner. And we're coming down the arm, cutting off at the hand in a one, two, three, turn the arm over, one, 
two, three, bend the arm up, cross the elbow, and then one, two, three, blend across, one, two, three, blend across, one, two, three, blend across. Going to do the same down the leg now. Going down in a one, two, three, blend across, one, two, three, blend across. We're going to do that for the third time. That's the side of the body done. Now face me please. Now when you're coming across the chest, you want the head up a little bit. You're not aiming at the neck, you're aiming, aiming across the chest. So we're going to spray three times across the chest. That's one, that's two, that's three. Then we're going to go three times across the tummy, all the way down to the bikini line. One. That's the second time, and that's the third time. Now, if our lady didn't have a bikini top on, when we come to the bust area, we would ask her to raise her arms up, and that would lift the bust and allow us to get under the bust line. Now, when you're doing the legs, <clears throat> we're gonna go in the one, two, three again, but I want you to really think about how you hold your bottle, because basically, if you start tilting the bottle at this level, you're going to end up overspraying the feet. And we've always got to think about the residue of tan coming down and landing on the feet. That's what we don't want. So keep your bottle upright, slightly to the right, up the centre, slightly to the left, and we're blending across. We're going slightly to the right, up the centre, slightly to the left, and we're blending across. If your bottle does fall down like that, you just pick it up and you just apply it back into the air gun, just like so, and make sure it's in there tightly. So we're going slightly to the right, up the centre, slightly to the left and blend across, slightly to the right, up the centre, slightly to the left and blend across. Repeat that process on the other leg, making sure you're keeping your bottle upright, making sure that there's not too much overspray going onto the feet. We're going to do that for the last time. So there's three coats on this leg here. Now what I need you to do for me is just pop your leg to the side slightly. What we're going to do now is the inside of the leg. It's a quick up, down, up, down, up, down, blend across. And the same on the other side. Up, down, up, down, up, down, and blend across. Now for, to get the last part of the legs, I need you to face this way for me. Just take your arm forward a little bit, bring this leg back for me. That's going to allow me to get into the last part of the leg in a one, two, three, and blend across. And it also allows me just to get that little, what we call the smiley line under the buttock. Turn round and face this way for me. And swap the legs for me. So now we're going to come down the inside of the back of the leg. And we're going to once again just do that smiley line. So what we've done now is a full coat of the body. And we do do it twice. So everything you've seen you will repeat. Um, but what I'm going to show you now is how to do the hands. So when you're spray tanning the hands you want a claw. So if you can make a claw, and this is so that we get into the knuckle area, and you lightly spray down onto the hands. You let the product mist down onto the hands, and we're going to do the same on the other side. And when you spray tan your face, you ask your model to close your eyes, breathe in, and breathe out. Now we're going to spray all the way around the face, and then we're going to come a little bit closer. And just like you would with your blusher brush, we're just going to highlight some cheek areas. So basically, that's one full coat of the tan on our model's body. You can already see, if you could just turn to the side, darling, the lines where it's beginning to develop. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a second coat of the body. So turn around for me. Put your leg on slightly. And this time I'm going to speed it up a little bit so that you can see the speed that you should be working at as a tan technician. Now just to confirm, this is the first time our model's had a tan, so she doesn't know these postures, but this is as quick as that you should be working. So you can see I'm still doing the one, two, three and blending across, but I'm moving at a much faster speed. So I'm gonna come across to the other leg in a one, two, three and blend across. And a one, two, three and blend across. Face the side for me. Put your arm out for me and put your head into the side. So we're letting it mist down onto the arm, turning the arm over, using the mitted hands to cover. The arm goes up, we're coming down the body. And I'm still doing my one, two, three blend across. I'm going to do the same down the leg now in a one, 
two, three, we're going to blend across. One, two, three, blend across. One, two, three, blend across. Face that way, darling. Put your arm out for me. So now we're coming down the arm again. One, two, three, turning the arm over. Two, three, taking the arm up. Down the side of the body. Two, three, down the side of the legs. And a one, two, three, blend across. And for the last time, and now if our model can face front, please. I'm going to come across the chest area. Two, three, and across the tummy. And a one, two, three. Now remember on the legs to keep your bottle upright so that you don't overspray too much on the legs or the feet. And the same on the other side. And if you can put that leg out to the side for me, darling. Coming up in a one, two, three, and the same on the other side. Coming up in a one, two, three. And face that way for me, darling, and put this leg back. That's it, and your arm forward. So we're just gonna do the back of the leg again, and just around the side. And come and face this way for me. That's it, lovely. So now we have been round the body twice. I need you to put your hands in front for me. Do the claw so that we can spray across the hands and close your eyes for me. Breathe in and breathe out and that allows us to spray all around the face and just go a bit closer and do those cheekbones. So there you've had two full applications of a tan. We do it twice because it makes sure that you've hit every area. You can see if you turn to the side for me darling, you can see now you're getting a really gorgeous tan line there. So what we're going to do for the end is we're just going to lock in that tan. We're going to use our locking product and we're basically going to cover the body in beautiful moisture and lock in 75% of that tan. If you turn around for me. And that's as easy as it is to lock in the product. Now one thing I want all of my tan technicians to do is at the end of every session clean up your work. It's what I call the fluffing. So if you could face me please, pop your hands out in front. I'm using the exfoliate that we used in the beginning now as a corrector. We're using it to remove any excess barrier cream from our ladies' hands. We're cleaning up, turn your hands over darling. We're cleaning up the wrists. We're making sure that she's got no barrier cream in between her fingers so that the hands are really nice and clean. Nobody wants to have any barrier cream left on their hands. Then turn around for me and just lift up the back of your foot a little bit. We're going to spray exfoliates over the foot and give it a little rub. And the same on the other foot and give it a little rub. And then face me, please. And just to finish, we're going to use the buffing mitt just to buff around the base of the foot and clean up your work. And then you have the perfect bow bronze spray tan.